welcome back to my channel, Kentucky Fried Fun, and welcome if you are new. Today, I am going to be participating in The Purge. I am going to be purging out our garage, mainly my decor, as I did go through the garage last year and it was looking amazing, and I want it back at that look of amazing. <laughs> If you are new to my channel, my name is Ruth, and on my channel you will find cleaning and declutter motivation, as well as decoration inspiration. If you like that type of content, I'd absolutely love it if you would subscribe, and then once you've clicked that red subscribe button, be sure to also click the little bell that is right next to it so that you don't miss out on any more of my content. Like I mentioned, this is a participation with a challenge that is called The Purge, and this challenge is being hosted by Kim from Diva Designing on a Dime by Kimberly Davis. I'll be sure to leave a link to her channel as well as the playlist and all the other ladies and their purge videos up in the cards and down in the description box. For the first part of my purging in the garage, I'm not going to do all of this in one day. I would get so overwhelmed. I'm going to be starting off with my fall decor as right after I've kind of purged my fall decor, which isn't too as much as I thought it was going to be, but I do want to be able to fit it all in one bin. That's my goal. That's what we're gonna be working on today. And then right after I have finished purging it, I will actually be filming a little unboxing haul of all my fall decor that I do plan to keep that will be a separate video so definitely be sure that you have your little bell click so that you don't miss out on that video that I wanted to go through was all of my Christmas decor so I pulled all of it out there is some in this laundry basket that I need to go through the first thing that I was going to do was just transfer our Christmas tree to this other red bin now obviously I do want to get like an actual Christmas tree box maybe that could be a purchase this year around Christmas time just because I wanted to be able to use this under under the bed box as an I cool um, space saving storage in our nursery for our foster care. Next, I wanted to move on to this bin right here. It had some extra random stuff in it, but mainly it just holds like our nativity scene and then like my Christmas village things. And I did recently get a new Christmas house this summer. I'm pretty sure I hauled it in one of my July thriftmas videos. If I can find that, I'll leave it linked up here in the cards. But I just wanted to make sure that I could fit all of that in there. And I do end up um, getting rid of three Christmas tree or Christmas village like buildings that I bought when I first got it and they don't light up and they just have a hard time getting them to stand. Let me tell you why. Why is that we go smile? 
by the way, ignore my choice of clothing for the day, especially my top. I knew I was going to get all hot and sweaty going through things and moving things around in the garage. So I just threw on an old t-shirt. I didn't actually go to law camp. It's just some random shirt that I found once. able to fit in this garland right here that I actually used to decorate with my village and our nativity scene so I was very happy to be able to stick that in there with this bin as well. And then the last thing that I had to go through was just this gigantic bin of ours that had our Christmas ornaments and all the other like random throughout the house Christmas decorations. <laughs> some overlooks of what the garage looks like that I've like worked through it a little bit and I do want to rearrange and see if I could get as many of these tubs up there and then this side obviously needs some help so this stuff right here is all going to be going upstairs some fall decor I can use that for VIP kid lights need to go outside I think I might see if I'm pretty sure this is a valence I might put that in the nursery along with this basket this stuff I'm getting rid of, trash, all of that's trash. This I think I might put in the nursery. This, it was only like 10, five, 10 bucks from Walmart and it has a crack and I never could get the sticky off. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss it and then all I have left to do is sweep. So over here is our crib that we are currently in the process of painting. So this, obviously won't stay here. These two things, I do plan to get rid of the suitcase and this was part of a chair. I'm not sure if Michael still wants to keep the cushion. This obviously won't be staying down here for too long. This is just some siding, a shelf, some random wood, and then our candy cane lights. Up here I have all of my storage bins. Not everything as you see is in a bin so it's not like perfect. And I wasn't able to get all my Christmas stuff and things, but all of this is like big stuff, so that's okay. My fall bin will go there. Over here is just like Michael's things, projects we're working on. And then over here is our old coffee table that I plan to turn into like a mud batch. I've seen a couple tutorials. I'm sure I'll do that later. And 
this Airbnb sign is just here. We used to have it out in the yard because our house is like brand new on the street and we weren't even on Google yet when we first started. So people were having trouble finding our house. So I thought it'd be cute to put that there and it points to the door that goes into our Airbnb. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it and got some declutter motivation from it, please be sure to leave it a big thumbs up. If you like what you saw today, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and be sure to click that little bell so that you don't miss out on any more of my videos. Have a blessed day. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!